morning. Welcome, family and friends, ladies and gentlemen, members of the Vancouver Police Department, and our 30 newest police officers of the VPD. One more round of applause. There are many important events that I attend as Chief of the Vancouver Police Department, but perhaps none more important than a swearing-in ceremony. Because today is a very important day in the lives not only of these officers and their families, but also in the history of the Vancouver Police Department. It's a big day that you will always remember, I guarantee you, for the rest of your life. And today you're being sworn in not just as police officers, but as members of the Vancouver Police Department. And we've been policing this city with pride since 1886 for the past 131 years. And you now represent part of that history. But you also represent our future because the officers standing before you today will be here and not retiring until probably the area around 2047 to 2050, which seems like a long way away. <laughs> so it's part of my responsibility as chief to make sure that we're setting up the department well for the future, but I also want to make sure I've got some good people to look after me in my old age. <laughs> but when I say it stays with you for a long time and it will transcend retirement, your history and your service as a Vancouver police officer, and I attend a lot of events with retired police officers, and I was at an event recently where we had officers there who had served in World War II, officers that retired back in the late 70s and early 1980s, they retired before most of you were born. But even 35, 40 years later after their retirement, these officers still remember and still talk about their service to Vancouver and how much it meant to them and what a difference it made in their lives and the difference they made to the community. So today when I swear you in and you have your nice new badge in your hand, I know that you're going to take it home and you're going to show it to your husbands and wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, your parents, all your friends. It's it's very exciting getting the new badge. It's a real symbol of a police officer. But just remember that with that badge comes a lot of responsibility. You will have the authority to arrest people. You will have the authority to use force if somebody's trying to use force against you or a member of the public. But with that comes great responsibility. And it's not like television. In the vast majority of cases, the thing that will get you through is not your ability to use force, which of course we will train you in, but it's your ability to connect with people and use your interpersonal skills and how you deal with people that will serve you best. And it's important for young police officers to recognize early on that intersection between law enforcement and social issues because we're not just about law enforcement, we're about public safety and making people in the city feel safe. When people are walking their kids to school, when tourists arrive on a cruise ship, when people are coming to work every day, we want people to feel safe in their communities. And a lot of the social issues I'm talking about are the things you know, but you will really experience it firsthand as a police officer, whether it's mental health issues, homelessness issues, addiction issues. And when we go into these situations as police officers, we're there to calm things down, restore order, de-escalate, and make sense of a situation that's out of control. And we will put you in many, many difficult situations throughout your career, I guarantee that. And you'll be dealing with people from all different walks of life, from backgrounds that are less fortunate than your own. But I'll tell you that it's always the mark of a good person is how you treat somebody that's less fortunate than yourselves. And if you work hard, treat people with respect, live by those simple rules, and remember our values of integrity, compassion, accountability, respect, and excellence, it will serve you well throughout your entire career. And that respect is not only how we're dealing with the public on the outside, but how we deal with each other internally within the police department. It's so important that we have a healthy and respectful workplace. There's so much amazing work going on in this police department that I see every day. Unfortunately, sometimes in the media, you will just hear about the negative things that are happening with police, some sort of salacious story, something that's a headline grabber. But every day, I sit down in the morning with our team and I hear about all the great work that's happened over the past 24 hours of our officers. There, there's another amazing case that just happened this week where we had a very serious threat to public safety. And many of our detectives that work in this building, our surveillance people, our forensic specialists, our patrol officers, everybody pulled together and solved that crime in a very short period of time and got a very significant 
public safety threat off of our streets. The people that you're standing with today, your academy mates, you've got a long journey ahead with them. And these folks that you're standing with, badge numbers 3112 to 3141, the newest members of the VPD, these 30 officers, no matter where you end up in your career, whether you're a patrol officer, a detective, you're riding a motorcycle, you're on a horse in Stanley Park, you're repelling down buildings as a member of the emergency response team, you go on to become a supervisor, whatever career path you take, I'll guarantee you that 25 or 30 years from now, when you run into the other people in your class, you will still have that strong connection no matter where your career takes you. And today you really do begin your journey, as I like to say, on the front seat on the roller coaster of life. Because during your career, you will save people's lives, you will arrest dangerous criminals, bank robbers, dangerous sexual predators, you'll get involved in vehicle pursuits, you'll rescue people from domestic violence, and you'll put yourself in harm's way to protect yourself, a fellow citizen, or another police officer. And the other people that you see standing around in this room that you don't know yet, those people will come running to help you when you're in time of need as well. While other people run from danger, you're gonna be running into the danger, helping citizens in our city. But it's not just about those types of calls that really make a difference. It's all the other things that sometimes people forget that police officers do. Finding lost kids, you'll be dealing with distraught mothers who, whose kid is lost in Stanley Park or cases like that. You'll be dealing with troubled youth and kids who sometimes get into trouble, but they're not necessarily bad kids. They're just kids that need a bit of a leg up in life and they need some direction and they need good role models and people to steer them on the right path, which is stuff that our police officers do all the time. You'll be dealing with Alzheimer's patients, Parkinson's patients, people that wander away and are confused and they need somebody to take care of them. And you'll be dealing with people that are suicidal. You'll be out there at one o'clock in the morning standing on the edge of a bridge talking to somebody that's contemplating taking their own life. And the only person that they have to turn to at that moment in their life is going to be you, a member of the Vancouver Police Department. And I don't want you to ever underestimate the difference that you can make as a police officer because it's significant. And the challenges that these new officers will face with issues that the generation before them didn't even think about 30 years ago when they started, things like counterterrorism and national security issues, cybercrime, fentanyl crisis, these sorts of words or terminology was, wasn't even on the radar. These weren't even things that we considered. But even though we're facing all these new challenges going forward, I'm confident in the abilities of the Vancouver Police Department and we're going to take these challenges head on and we're going to keep the city safe because our police officers, they're smart, they're fit, they're well trained, they're professional and we're going to take care of safety in this city. This really is the best career in the world. It's a serious business that we're in, but it's also a fun job and you're going to have a great time during your career. To the family and friends in the audience, thank you so much for being here. I can't tell you how much your love and support is going to mean to our new officers. And that love and support has to continue throughout their career. Because policing can be all-encompassing, especially for a new officer, you can live and breathe it 24-7. It's important that they keep their family interests, their friends, all those interests that they have in sports and other activities beyond becoming a member of the police department. And it will be up to you to help keep them grounded as they move forward. Family support is absolutely crucial to the success of a police officer. But my promise to you is that I will do my best as chief to make sure that we give them the best training, the best leadership, the best equipment, and that leadership will run throughout the organization as it does, from my office right down to the frontline supervisors on the road, and we have excellent sergeants who will provide guidance and field trainers, who will provide excellent training to these officers as they begin their journey. But to all of you, you are now part of the Vancouver Police Department extended family, so welcome to the family as well. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Vancouver Police Department and a big round of applause for class 154. Thank you.